Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Camp Light 16 TBS. It's a nice, lightweight couples coach. It uh, has a couple twin beds in here. So if you're looking for a travel trailer with twin beds, this is certainly one you'll want to pay attention to. We're going to start off right back here though. We'll make our way around. So one of the things you'll notice is the kitchen is, or the uh, refrigerator rather, is right here in the back of the RV. I personally like when they do this because a lot of times I just want to come in, I want to grab a beverage and head right back out and this allows me to do exactly that. Uh, of course, freezer compartment up top, fridge right down below. You do have a cutout right here for some taller items as well. Uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then right back here is your bathroom. Take a look right down below there, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet. I'll sneak in here just to kind of give you an idea of space. Uh, it is on the angle, uh, on an angle here, you know, you don't have a ton of room, but again, it's a small bathroom, but I can still do what I need to do. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of wide up top here to have some broad shoulders, but as you can see, I can still fit in here fairly easily. Uh, right over here to the side is your tank monitoring panel. That is definitely something you'll want to know where that's located. This way you can monitor your tanks as well as your battery. You'll also see your water pump control is located here, as is your water heater. Uh, this one is a DSI water heater, direct spark ignition there. You will notice this water heater also is an upgraded water heater, and it will run off both gas and electric. You can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery. Then right over here is the shower. I'll go ahead and stand in here to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot tall. As you can see, I kind of hit the ceiling here, but there is this skylight right above me. Uh, so it does give you a little extra headroom. So if you're six one, six two, you can still stand in here without having to uh, hunker down or, or bend over. Right over here is your hand wand. Of course, this makes it easier to shower. And then you have the curtain there that you can close off. Make sure you keep all the water uh, inside the shower pan. Now, as we move uh, outside here, you will notice this one does have a slide out. Now, the slide out sofa, one of my favorite parts about this, most manufacturers, when they have a slide out sofa, have a jackknife. That is not the case here. This very comfortable sofa, you can see the cushions here, but this one is actually a trifold sofa. Uh, trifolds are great, they're nice and easy to make up, they're more comfortable uh, than your uh, jackknife sofas, and they also turn into larger beds. So, definitely uh, nice having a trifold in here, especially a smaller RV like this. Then, right above that, you have the window there, which obviously will let in uh, a lot of uh, ventilation if you want to, a cross breeze through here. Also, the windows, I'll kind of show you how they work. When it's down like this, uh, this is obviously your privacy shade. You can then push this up. You can see they kind of connect in the middle here. This will give you your screen. So the window has a couple locks. You undo those locks, open it up, it locks into place, couple different positions. And then you have the screen here, which will allow that cross ventilation. You can undo these as well if you want. So if you just want to be able to reach through the window, you can do that too. Uh, but pretty nice window system there. Uh, making our way up front here, so as I mentioned, these are your two twin beds. Um, you know, when you're uh, taking a look at it as far as size, when you put them together, it is essentially a king. Each individual bed is uh, 32 inches by 76 inches as far as the size of the twin itself. But as I mentioned, you know, if you put this centerpiece in, this gives you the nice large king bed here. Uh, what you do if you want the twins or if you kind of want to make this into a seating area, you can take this up and off. It kind of creates like a nice little backrest there. This center part right here does come out. You can remove this, basically slide this out. That will allow you to walk in uh, right through there. That way, again, you can kind of use this as two separate uh, couches, some different seating areas there. Right underneath is a table. This table is meant to be put in front of your couch. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit lower just because the couch sits up kind of high. So in all honesty, it's more of a coffee table because it's uh, pretty much in line with your knees. It's not, you know, it's going to be super high where you'd normally eat at a table. Uh, but again, it is still something that's very usable. And if you want to take it outside, you can do that as well. Just make sure uh, you bring it back in if it is going to rain. On both sides here, you see you have the, the same style windows there. A little bit smaller, obviously, than the one above the couch. But that will still allow for a nice uh, cross ventilation. All the way across the top here, you have some great storage. Uh, so you can see these, I'll open these up for you. Uh, a couple different things you'll notice. One, you have the nice decorative glass on there, kind of designer glass, which is cool. 
You'll also see you have the blue LED lights throughout. Um, you know, you don't have to have that on, but it's a nice extra feature there. And you'll also see that these are strut supported. So that way it's an easy one hand operation. Uh, but this is pretty good storage. I mean, especially right here, you see how nice and deep that is. Uh, allows you to, you know, put a lot of folded clothes right up there. Then you'll see right under here, you do have an LED light. So, uh, you know, if you need a reading light or something at night, that is the place uh, to do it. Right over here, you have a TV. This is on a swing arm mount. So uh, if you're sitting on the couch, this can swing out and around so you're able to, uh, able to see it from the couch, which is pretty nice. Now this one is hooked up to the multimedia center. So if you want a DVD, I'll show you where that's at in just a second. You can uh, pop a DVD in there and be able to watch a movie. Right up top is your convection microwave oven. This is a nice upgrade here as well. So uh, if you want more than just a microwave, you know, if you want an, an actual oven, this is, uh, you know, probably one of the best options in a small trailer because it's a great space savings. It is a two in one. So you can use it as an oven, use it as a microwave. It will function as both. And honestly, it cooks faster than your uh, standard oven and it's easier to clean. Right next to that, you have some additional pantry space. Again, the same uh, decorative glass on there that we had above your twin beds. Same thing here again, you have the struts, the blue light up there as well. Right down below, you have a window here behind your sink, so you're able to, again, you know, have that natural light, see outside your campsite there. Next to that, you have this decorative backsplash. You'll see you have the LED light strip there as well. Beautiful solid surface countertops in here. I really like that they do that. One, because this is a higher end uh, quality travel trailer. And you know, you want some of those nicer amenities, some of those things that really appeal and uh, make it pop, you know, give it that nice uh, aesthetic. So when you walk in, your eyes are naturally drawn to it. But also you don't find that very often in lightweight campers. You know, they're always trying to cut weight where possible. So I like the fact that this is lightweight and still has the beautiful solid surface countertops in here. Uh, also, all this is prep space. They're able to accomplish this because they give you a cooktop cover as well as the sink top cover here. When you lift up that cover, that will reveal your uh, two burner cooktop right there. You also see you have the decorative, or not decorative, I'm sorry, the glass right here kind of doubles as almost like a second backsplash. This is also nice and easy to clean if you're cooking something messy like bacon, uh, things like that. Right over to the side here, I will remove the sink top cover for you so you can see the undermount stainless steel bowl. Again, because it is solid surface, you're able to undermount that sink, which is nice. And then the high rise faucet there too. Take a quick look underneath here. You see you have three very large full extension ball bearing drawers. Not only do you have enough room for your silverware and everything here, but then you have this one right below for some of your longer items like your big spatulas, uh, you know, large knives, things like that. A third drawer there for anything else you wanna stick in there. And then right over here, you see you have some great storage. So, you know, perfect for your pots and pans, cleaning supplies, things like that. Right around the corner here, you'll see you have an electrical outlet. So if you need a place to plug in your coffee maker, uh, toaster, griddle, that's a place you'll do it there. Slide out control right next to it. Some of your other controls like your power awning are right here. Then this is that multimedia center I was mentioning. This is your radio uh, and CD player, controls the speakers inside as well as outside. And as I mentioned, it is a DVD player, so you can pop a DVD in there. And it is also Bluetooth capable. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features of the Camp Light 16 TBS. Starting right up front, you have the power tongue jack, as you'd expect on a nice quality trailer. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle because you don't have to wear out your arm. You simply flip, uh, flip a switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light right up front there for added visibility at night. Right behind that are your two propane tanks with the cover. Very easy to access those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws here, lift up the door, and that will give you access right down in there. And then behind that yet is your uh, rails for your battery here. You do have enough space to put two batteries there side by side if you so desire. And then underneath that, you will notice your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know where it is stored. Now, one of the really cool things that set Camp Light apart is the frame. Take a look at this. This is a full aluminum frame. Uh, that's awesome because not only does it still have great uh, rigidity and structural integrity, but also it's lighter weight and it won't rust out on you. So that is a huge deal right there. Coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. 
When you come around to the side here, you can take a look at the side wall. This is a beautiful blue exterior on here. Definitely makes it stand out over a lot of travel trailers out there. And one of the things I really like that they do is behind this fiberglass skin, they use Asdell composite panels. Uh, they use a lot of Asdell and aluminum throughout in the camp lights. Anytime they can replace wood with an Asdell panel, uh, panel or aluminum, they certainly try to do so. And the reason I like it here on the exterior is there's a couple of advantages of Asdell over your Luon backer that most manufacturers use. One is the fact it's lighter weight. They're trying to make a lightweight camper. You want to be able to save weight where you can. Uh, the, the Asdell will certainly help in that regard. Also, it doesn't have your off-gassing. If you've walked into some newer travel trailers and it's almost that overpowering smell where you have to leave, a lot of times that's the Luon. You know, essentially that's a plywood and the glue that comes off there, the off-gassing is what's giving you those fumes. The last thing I really like about it is that Asdell won't absorb moisture. So if uh, a lot of manufacturers, you know, with that Luon backer, if you ever get water into the sidewall, you may start to see the bubbles on the outside. That's what's known as delamination. And the number one cause of delamination is water in that sidewall. That Luon normally absorbs it and it pops. So you don't have to worry about that uh, with the camp light here. If you take a quick look at the pass through, you'll see this one does have a covered hinge, which is great. You don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. When we open this up, it is magnetic, so it's nice and easy to uh, attach there. And then if you take a look at the pass-through itself, you will see that it is nice and clean. It's not uh, open, it's finished off. You know, you don't have a, a bunch of uh, beams and stuff running through there. You also see you have a couple LED lights there as well. And on the far side, you have a battery disconnect. That's a nice feature to have because rather than having to constantly get into your battery box to, you know, uh, take the excuse me, to take the connections off the post, you can simply turn that battery disconnect and it will kill all power to the RV here. Power awning on there, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Super simple and easy to use. There is an LED light strip on the bottom there as well if you want light at night. Right underneath that are your two exterior speakers. As I had mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center right inside the door there. But that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here underneath your awning, control those speakers, you can do that. And one of the cool things about this floor plan, if you notice, you don't have any vents over here. You don't have your furnace or your refrigerator vents or anything. Not, you know, it's not blowing hot air on you. So this entire camp space right here is all good usable camp space. And right underneath that uh, power awning, you have TV hookups. If you want a TV out here, you can do that. Electrical outlet there, cable outlet there, you know exactly where to hook it up at. And you have that awning coverage as well, help provide some shade to help reduce the glare on that TV. The wheels on here are aluminum alloy. Not only do those look great, but also they won't rust on you, help prevent corrosion, and you have nitrogen filled tires. Getting into the TBS is nice and easy. You have the foldable easy grab handle right here. Most manufacturers, especially in this uh, weight range and in this length, just have a single one right here, right up next to the unit. You know, it's not nearly as easy to grab and you kind of are bending over to climb up the steps. Not the case here. This one comes out further from the RV, makes it nice and easy to climb the steps here. And you will notice the steps are also aluminum, so the steps won't rust out on you. They have some grip strips on there as well, some grip tape there. So if it does rain or, you know, it's the morning and there's dew setting on the steps, you don't have to worry about uh, slipping and falling. It gives you that control to climb on in. <clears throat> right back here, you will see you have an aluminum bumper. Now, one of the things you will not notice is because it's not your normal steer, steel tubular bumper, your sewer hose doesn't go in here. I'll show you where that's at. It's up front on the off door side here. But again, I love aluminum. This will stay looking nice. It's not going to rust out on you. Right there is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. You need to wash your feet, wash the dog. That's the place to do it there. Top center, you have a uh, backup camera prep. This is a big deal. If you want a backup camera, this makes it a lot less expensive to have it installed. Uh, really cuts down on the labor. It's essentially just a plug and play. And again, so it will be a big savings to you if that is something you're interested in. If not, no big deal. Maybe the uh, if you ever go to sell it, the next person will want one. It's already prepped for them. Right back here, this is your cable inlet. You see you have a 30 amp detachable power cord. It'll plug right in there. This unit does have a black tank flush as well to quickly and easily wash out the black tank. And then right down below there, you can see your termination as well as your gray and black valves. A couple things up front here. You will see this is your tank fill. It is gravity fill right there. 
Next to that is your six gallon water heater. As I had mentioned inside, this unit does run off both propane and electric. City water connection right off to this side here. If you take a look underneath, this is what I was mentioning right there is your sewer hose compartment. So nice and uh, easy. You don't have to stick it in your pass through. You can keep that uh, definitely separate as you would want. And then right here in front of the pass through, you have solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable Furion panel, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Camp Light 16 TBS. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.